72 law enforcement officers died on 9-11. It was the deadliest day ever for police in America. You've heard some of their stories, but Bruce Lashan has two stories maybe you haven't heard. Leonard W. Hatton. At the National Law Enforcement Jerry Memorial, D. the names Jones. of those killed on 9-11 seem to go Martin on forever. Clark. Mark Ellis. Craig Floyd Martin is haunted Morales. by two of them. When you meet the families and you hear the stories behind the names on these walls, you feel like you did know the officer. New York police officer John Perry was actually putting in his retirement papers at police headquarters when he heard the call for a fire at the World Trade Center. He raced to the scene to try to help people in need, even though he was getting ready to retire, and he never came out. Fred Marone, the chief of the Port Authority Police, heard the call too. He could have easily stayed in his office in Jersey City. But Chief Marone raced to the scene and started climbing the stairs to get people out. Witnesses that were coming down said he would stop to reassure them that everything was going to be okay, that they'd get out safely. The chief kept climbing. And when that tower collapsed, uh, his son and wife sitting at home, when they saw the first tower collapse, they said, my father, my husband is gone. Harvey Snook, the third. 72 names of 9-11 heroes share a wall with 21,111 other heroes. Police officers answering the call to danger even today. At the National Law Enforcement Memorial, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. They rushed toward the danger. On average, a police officer is killed answering the call every 58 hours in the U.S. That's about 151 sons and daughters, mothers and fathers every year.